Good morning everybody, my name is Jacob, back at you with another video and today I've got a tech video for you guys. I'm not like an expert in any of this, I'm still an amateur very much so, but today I'm going to be talking to you guys about colour grading and whether or not you actually need to do it. And in my opinion, it's completely dependent on the project. Now, when it comes to colour grading, there are a few ways to do it. If you're using Adobe Premiere CC, which is the editing suite that I prefer to use, then it's a pretty simple, pretty simple way to do, which I will show you later on in the video. But when it comes down to colour grading, it's as as I said before, it's completely dependent on the project in my opinion. You know, putting a few colour effects like lifting the contrast and exposure and all that kind of stuff and just fixing it up the same way that you do in Lightroom for photos. It's honestly so simple and it doesn't take much time at all. If you're doing something like this and it's all the same and you won't have to do it for separate clips, then I highly recommend if you're starting out on YouTube and you have Adobe CC, Adobe Premiere CC, then to have a go and just try some color grading on your videos. You're gonna try color grading on your videos and if people notice, they notice. If they don't, they don't. There's nothing that they can do about it. If you try it once on one video and you don't like it and you would rather just use the raw footage that comes out of the camera, that is completely your choice. But it's honestly, if you're, if you're creating YouTube videos or if you're creating any type of film, it is all a type of personal experience so if you want to try something new then you do it and people can either accept it or not accept it but at the end of the day it's your decision so for the rest of this video I'm going to show you guys how I color grade my videos and if you guys want to try my ways of doing it if you want to try your own ways of doing it but use some of my tips that's fine and if you don't give a flying but about how I um, do color grading then feel free to just move on to one of my old videos because this is my this is my personal creative expression if you don't like it deal with it so for this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I did color grading for my short film that I've just produced for school um, it's called stranded and once I get all my results back for it and I've entered in a few film festivals and once the results come back from those um, I'll be able to post the actual film on YouTube for you guys to enjoy but for now I'm going to show you a few little clips here and there just to show you how I do my color grading and what it looks like before and what it looks like after so if you guys enjoy please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the big red subscribe button plus a little bell so I can annoy the heck out of you all through summer, daily December coming up, bitch. And yeah, leave a comment about how you color grade and how if you have any tips for me and how I color grade, make my workflow easier, you know, anything you like, put it down in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so as we jump into Adobe Premiere CC, we're gonna open up a new project and we're just gonna chuck it on my desktop, we go choose, and then we name it Color Grading Toot. And then you press OK, and it will create the new file for you. Things first, we're going to import our media. Um, we're going to go to Stranded, um, Stranded Film, Day 2 Film. And I'm just going to grab a quick shot out of scene 2, shot right here. So we're going to import this shot right here. So, Alright, so we have our files exported and then we drag it down. You guys should know this. If you guys want me to do a basic premiere, how to edit a basic video, then tell me down in the comments below and I'm more than happy to do that for you guys because I use Premiere on a daily basis, whether that be for school, whether it be for YouTube, whether it be for my business. I'm using this program on a daily basis. As you can see, we scrub through this clip and we're going we're gonna to get rid of this six seconds. So we're left with this six seconds worth of footage on the timeline and why I've chosen this clip is because it's got a lot of different dynamic aspects to it. It's got my main character Michael, it has the fire, it has the background with the trees, it has the like the red um, stuff he's laying on. First things first, this is the, once again quick disclaimer that this is the way I like to do it. A lot of people have a lot of different techniques when it comes to color grading but with um, the way I like to do it is I click on this little icon here and I press adjustment layer. You press OK. Alright, so we're going to chuck it down and yeah, so as you can see nothing happens because it's just a clear layer at the moment. Then we're going to go over to our effects panel which is over here. We're going to search up Lumetri because, and then we scroll right to the bottom and we see this Lumetri color one right here under the color corrections tab. We're going to drag it and we're going to drop it on our adjustment layer. And what happens now is we go up to the effects tab, scroll down, and here you'll be able to see Lumetri Color. So the effects controls panel is where you'll be able to change all your different things. And 
the way I like to do it is I don't really go into much other than the basic correction because I don't find the real need for it unless um, there's something specific that you want to do. And from here, you're greeted by all of these different words, which you guys may understand, you might not. You can press down on here and, you have be, and you're greeted by a scrub bar. But I, the way I prefer to do it is I just prefer to leave it like that and you can just drag the numbers here. From here, I'm just going to time up this little bit and we're going to go through and we're going to change up all of the different things. And the way I like to do it, it's basically a massive game of trial and error. You're going to scroll left and right, left and right until you find something that's right and then you move to the next one, left and right, and then you might find that the one above doesn't match with what you've got below so it's just a massive game of just trial and error mixing and matching and yeah so let's go and yeah so that's kind of that done I'm kind of liking this look that gives it more of a you know an older look in a way like this is just my personal opinion I think that looks a bit better not that it's changed dramatically and you go down and you can change up the saturation and all that kind of stuff make it look a bit better um, go through sharpen it up a little bit um, add some vibrance into it you know that kind of stuff and then all of a sudden um, and then after that all of a sudden your shot looks so much better like we get rid of the adjustment layer and it's pretty bland get it and the fire looks a lot better and everything just has a bit more color in it you can go down and you can you know play around with the curves and you know that kind of stuff my laptop's not really coping very well screen recording and editing which is fair enough because it's you know it's getting getting a bit old these days but but that looks a lot better than that in my like that's as I said my opinion my personal opinion you guys might not like that look but that's the look that I was going for that's what my film looks like um, and yeah so that's that and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope it helped if you guys were you know unsure about color grading or if you had no idea that you were even going to end up watching this video I'm glad that you did um oh sorry um yeah so if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it would mean so much to me if you guys want to see my base like a Adobe Premiere Basics video then leave it down in the comments and I will get straight onto that for you guys don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button for more videos hit the bell if you want me to annoy you whenever I upload a video which is honestly whenever and yeah without further ado I will see you guys in the next video so until next time peace out Alright, time to record another one. <laughs>